everyone greetings from team pmg i am tisha sinha and in this module today i will discuss about food contaminants and its various types that are responsible for causing severe public health problems around the world resulting in various food borne diseases and toxicity so let us now begin with the first topic of this module that is food contaminant food contamination is seen as a serious challenge across the globe which results in various food borne diseases that affects human beings every year around more than 11000 cases of food infections are recorded due to the presence of unwanted agents like viruses bacteria toxins parasites metals and other chemicals causing food contamination therefore it becomes serious matter of concern for all industrialists and technologists involved in food industry so let us first understand what are food contaminants so basically food contaminants are defined as an agents that are responsible for spoilage of food products and causing symptoms of food borne illness and toxicity in humans due to the presence of either spoilage or pathogenic microorganisms or due to the presence of toxic substances that make them unfit for consumption these are not only dangerous for humans but are also harmful for companies as well as presence of it may lead to voluntary product recalls from the market shelves which may become the reason for heavy economical losses and customer may never buy their product again which means company will ultimately loses its future possibility of sales also that is why food industrialists and technologists need to be very careful about it as these may get introduced any time and at any stage of the food supply chain such as harvesting processing packaging storage and transportation etc there are basically three different types of food contaminants that may occur in food that is biological contaminants chemical contaminants and physical contaminants presence of any one of the mentioned contaminants may lead to the reduction of the food quality and composition of food product so let us now discuss about a first contaminant that is biological contaminants biological contamination refers to the food products that are contaminated by substances produced by living creatures such as humans rodents pest or microorganisms microbial contamination can be further classified into bacterial viral fungal or parasitic which are transferred through saliva pest droppings blood or fecal matter biological hazards can be introduced to food from the environment or by observing inadequate sanitation practices and from the cross contamination which has happened during transportation handling processing and storage bacterial contamination is thought to be the most common cause of food poisoning across the world and the best way to protect against its occurrence is by observing best food safety pra practices inside food facility some of the most common pathogens responsible for causing food borne illness are campylobacter E. coli, Salmonella, Listeria, norovirus, and Toxoplasma. Let us now move on to our next category, that is chemical contaminants. It is defined as any substances that can cause a health problem when ingested or inhaled. They include toxins, dangerous chemicals, residue of excess chemicals used in processing of food products. If your facility follows good manufacturing practices you can prevent these chemical hazards very easily These chemicals can be broadly grouped into four categories based on its incidence of occurrence First category includes chemical contaminants that occur naturally in food products These are defined as toxins produced by plants animals or microorganisms For example aflatoxins in peanuts spices neurotoxins in mushrooms and glycoalkaloids in potatoes second category includes the group of chemicals contaminants that are intentionally added to food products so these are chemicals added to the food that are beyond the acceptable limits established by the food and drug act and its regulation 
it examples include food additives like sodium nitrate next category includes the ones that are unintentionally added to food products so basically these are chemicals that accidentally contaminate food during processing for example sanitation or maintenance chemicals pesticides or environmental pollutants last category include food allergens so these are substances in food that can cause a dangerous reaction in people who are allergic to certain food groups it examples includes peanut fish and dairy products etc let us now move on to our next category that is physical contaminants so basically these are either foreign materials that are unintentionally introduced to food products or are naturally occurring objects that are hazardous to consumers common sources of these in food include glass metal plastic stones and wood a physical hazard contaminates a food product at any stage of production so therefore food proce processors should take adequate measures to avoid physical hazards in food so now with this we came to the end of this module if you find this module useful then request you to kindly like share and subscribe to our channel thank you and have a good time